Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design advertisement pamphlet in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready for the class. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means hit the like button, soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the project file, open the flyer psd inside photoshop, this one is a design ready file, size is A4, if you want you can create your own canvas, I have given you the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. Next create a layer inside background group, go to color picker, sample and select white color, now fill the color by using keyboard shortcut alt backspace. Next we are going to create an image placeholder, for that go to image folder, create a layer, go to color picker, sample and select black color. Now pick the rectangle tool, make sure fill is enabled, stroke is disabled. Now by holding shift key create a perfect square shape like so. Fine. Now enable free transform tool control T. Now change the angle here to 45 degree. Now I'm going to place the image placeholder here. Fine, I'll create a duplicate copy using keyboard shortcut control J. I'll name the layer as 1 and 2. Now move the second image placeholder to left side now enable free transform tool control t and resize it i'll place it here don't worry about the spacing between the image placeholder we will take care of that later next i'm going to repeat the very same step create a duplicate copy control j name it as 3 move it down below another copy fine i'll name the layer as 4 now i'll create another copy now i'll bring it down and place it inside the design folder I'll name it as D1, now move the shape, now click the thumbnail and change the color to blue. Now enable free transform tool, control T and resize it. Fine, next I'm going to create a duplicate copy, control J, I'll name it as D2. Now click the thumbnail and change the color. Now enable free transform tool, control T and resize it, I'll place it here. Next we are going to create a rectangle shape placeholder, for that select the image group, create a layer with same black color selected in the color picker, select the rectangle tool, now create a rectangle shape like so. Fine. Now enable free transform tool control T, now change the angle to minus 45. Fine. Now move the shape and place it here. If you want you can enable free transform tool control T and resize it. Fine. Next we are going to name this layer as 5. Next I'll create a layer here. We are going to create a reference shape. For that go to the color picker. Select any color you want. I'm going with orange. Now select the rectangle tool. Now create a rectangle shape like so. We are going to use this shape as a reference to space out our image placeholders. Now I'm going to change the angle to minus 45. Enable free transform tool and change the angle to minus 45. Fine. Now we are going to use this shape as reference. Now move this shape and place it between the image placeholders. If you want you can reduce the opacity to 80%. Now place it between the shapes. Now use your keyboard arrow keys to space out the objects, sorry shapes evenly. Next we are going to repeat the very same step, select the reference shape layer, move it a little bit up. Now again repeat the same step, use your keyboard arrow keys to space out our shapes. Next enable free transform tool control T and give a 90 degree rotation. Again repeat the process. Once you are done you can disable the reference shape. Next we are going to drop in our images. For that go to the project file, open image one inside photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside of a canvas, of course you can use your image. Make sure to place it right above the image placeholder one. Now right click and clip mask the image. Now enable free transform tool control T and resize it. Next we are going to repeat the very same step for the rest of the image placeholders. All you got to do is go to the project file, open the image inside photoshop, drag and drop the image inside our canvas, make sure to place it right above the respective image placeholder, right click and clip mask the 
image now enable free transform tool control t and resize it i'm going to do the very same step for all the image placeholder i'll fast forward the process fine once you're done next we're going to add our text content for that go to the text folder create a layer go to color picker select black color now pick the text tool the font i'm using is a free font i'll give link in the description with size as 40 i'm going to type my company name i'll create a duplicate copy control j i'll edit the text fine once you're done i'll create a border guidelines next we're going to add a line shape for that go to the design folder create a layer go to color picker select black color now pick the line tool make sure fill is enabled stroke is disabled i'll keep the weight as 5 pixels now by holding shift key create a tiny line shape like so i'll name it as l1 next we're going to add our product accounts for that go to the project file open the product icons psg inside photoshop you'll find a pre-designed icons drag and drop the icons folder inside our canvas make sure to place the icon right about text folder now move the icons and place it on left side in a way it touches the border guidelines next we're going to add our text content for that go to the text folder create a layer with same black color and i'm going to use the very same stem sorry same font with size as 14 type your product name now i'm going to add the description i'll keep the size as 11 and i'll reduce the sorry change the style to regular fine once you're done select the two text layers by holding shift key in your keyboard now create a duplicate copy ctrl j move it down i'll repeat the step ctrl j another copy now we edit the text content Next, we are going to add a line shape here. For that, go to the design folder, create duplicate copy of L1, bring it down, place it here. Next, we are going to add our other text content. Go to the text folder, create a layer. I'm using the same font. I'll increase the size to 40. Fine. Now, I'm going to create another line shape. Go to the design folder, create duplicate copy of L2, bring it down. Now I'm going to add another text content. I'll keep the size as 11 here. Next select all the text layers and the line shape we created so far. Adjust the spacings using your keyboard arrow keys. Next go to the design folder, create a duplicate copy of the line shape. Make sure to name the layer properly. I'll bring it here. Now enable free transform tool and give a 90 degree rotation fine now move on place it here next we're going to drop in our contacts icon for the go to the project file open the contacts icon psg inside photoshop you will find a pre-designed icons now drag and drop the icons folder inside of a canvas make sure to place the icon right above our text folder i'll place it on right side here next i'm going to add our phone number email id and website address text content for that go to the text folder create a layer add your text content i'm going with size 11 i'll place it here i'll create two duplicate copies ctrl j now edit the text once you're done our pamphlet is ready all you got to do is go to file Click save as, save the file as PDF or PNG and get it printed. So that's it guys, I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials, subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, take care.